Okay, so maybe you need to put a delay between turning on the burst. Have you guys looked at the data? Tell you how many of... It's really fun to be able to touch something and, and think of something and solve a problem that no one has ever been able to solve before. Do you have any way of plotting what the optimal frequency is for each one of the positions? I could track that. My name is Yale McGuire, and I am Chief Technology Officer at Thing Magic. Yale has been building things since he was a kid. I remember when I was about 12 years old that I really took a, an incredible interest in uh, designing and building radio-controlled vehicles. And now, designing and building things is his job. Like this little piece of technology that's starting to make a big difference. This is a tag. This is an RFID tag. RFID stands for Radio Frequency Identification. These are invisible waves that communicate information from one point to another. Well, if you snip this in half and then add more capacity. Yale and his team make the readers that take the information stored on the tags and send it to a computer. We can use this to identify objects uniquely and have a computer understand what those objects are by just sticking them on there. The main problem that Ford was trying to solve was people would have to travel for a long distance to get to a particular job site, and if they got to that site and they realized that they had forgotten, you know, their, their scroll saw or something like that, they'd actually have to go to a local store and buy one, and those things are really expensive. These tags will let a pickup truck know which tools are in the back and which ones aren't. But that's just the beginning. Basically, having access to information and more information about objects allows us to be more efficient about how we transport them, manipulate them, handle them. Produce traveling from the field to the store, for example, can be affected by changes in temperature. RFID tags might just be the answer. With special types of tags like this that can actually record temperature, maybe it will mean that we can send this product out such that when it actually reaches you, it's fresher and newer and tastier. While electrical engineers are problem solvers, using their high-tech understanding of circuitry and electronics, it can take a long time for an idea to come to life. Typically, to make a product that can survive all of the difficulties in the real world, it takes about a year. Which can mean long hours of meetings, designing, building, and lots of testing. So I do a lot of walking. I'm certainly not complaining because I have so much fun uh, having to pick and choose between these different things. I just wish that uh, there were more hours in the game. But Yale does have some time left over for other kinds of fun. In fact, it's actually, I think, um, a good thing to be able to take a break from what I'm working on and be able to focus on something, uh, keep my mind focused on one particular activity. Which helps him focus even better on the projects that mean the most to him, like the one he's working on with a nonprofit he co-founded called Design That Matters. And this is really just to show that the concept is possible, right, and then later right. on we'll develop things that we can experiment with and test in the field and so forth. They design products especially for use in developing countries, like this prototype of a low-cost infant incubator. We want to make something that's easy to use in developing countries and will save children's lives. Using parts from cars and other common machinery, Yale and his team developed a life-saving product that's not only low-cost, but most any repair person or auto mechanic can keep it running. I think part of why I'm excited about engineering and science always is to be able to look at a problem, spend some time with it, work with colleagues, and then finally figure out how to solve it. When you finally solve one of those problems, one of those key problems, it's such an incredible feeling. Life's too short to not pick exactly what you want to do. If you can do it, try to just Work towards that and work as hard as you can to realize that dream. And for engineer Yale McGuire, it doesn't get more exciting than this. I chose a career that I knew I was going to be passionate about and that I was going to love for the rest of my life. Hey, you're it. <laughs>